previously recorded. I'm gonna cut up the bell peppers and the onions, babe, because I know you ain't gonna want to cut them up, or you're gonna be nice and cut them up. Cause you cut them strawberries up real good last time. Uh, I don't even need all these. You don't even need all these. Put that down. I'm it's just. I, I ain't gonna use all of it. So you want to just cook the meat until you see all the brown out of it. Don't mm -hmm. see. Yeah, the pink out of it. I'm sorry, y'all. So you see all the pink out of it. Cook the meat. Now you can do this with butter if you want to. You don't have to do it with oil. All right, y'all. So he rolling his up. Is the light on? Yeah. All right, y'all. So here's what I got going back in the drawer. Here's what I got that's going in the closet. All right, y'all. So here I have our stuff separated. I have jackets to quarter length shirts to long sleeve shirts then I have long pants right here her long skirts Hey y'all, this your girl Tiana and I'm back with another episode, Cooking in the Kitchen. So today what we're going to be making is some T-bone steaks. I'm going to be showing you guys how we're going to be hooking up these T-bone steaks. But here's the ingredients that you're going to need to do them the way that I'm going to show you how I'm going to do them. So you're going to need to do two beef stew packs. Maybe two, maybe one, I'm not sure, but I got two just to be on the safe side. You're going to need you some oil of your choice. You're going to need some thyme, parsley, butter. You're going to find out later on why you need the butter. You're going to need some butter, celery salt, some steak seasoning or seasonings of your choice, onion powder, garlic powder, maybe a little salt, black pepper. You're going to need some potatoes cut up and cut in half. You're going to need you four t-bone steaks or it's how many t-bone steaks that you want but i got four washed and cleaned you're going to need some carrots yellow bell pepper red bell pepper green bell pepper onion flour and some minced garlic so here's the ingredients that you're going to need you're going to this is going to be a one pan dish i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe that I am creating for you guys. And until the next video, this your girl Tia not gonna be me. I hope y'all ring the do the doorbell, hit the hit the thumbs up the like button. I like to call it ring the doorbell. And also make sure that you subscribe and set your notification bells to all so you'll be notified whenever I come to upload a video. Alright y'all so I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to cooking. Alrighty y'all, so here in my bowl I have my T-bone steaks and we about to start seasoning these T-bone steaks up first. So, what I'm going to be using is some garlic powder, season to your own taste, use whatever seasoning that you want to use. I'm just showing you what I'm using and you just take it and make it your own, okay? So I've got me some garlic powder and we're going to be using that same seasoning on both sides. Then I have some onion powder. Black pepper. Then I have some steak seasoning. Season to your own taste. Let me add one more seasoning. 
All right, so I also have some paprika, and that's just for color. All right, so that's what I got. So now I'm gonna flip them over, do the same thing on the other side. So now that I have that mixed around, I'm gonna take some of my flour, and this is some all-purpose flour. You can use self frozen flour. You can even use cornstarch if you want to, but I am coating my T-bone steaks with this flour, okay? And I want a sticky consistency on them. Okay, getting enough on them. Cause this flour is gonna act as a gravy once everything gets cooking, okay? So you don't want so much flour where you see the flour just, you know, like it's just white, like you're trying to fry some chicken or something. You just want it where you can see it, okay? Now let me show you a trick. Any Anytime you're cooking meat and you have fat running along the edge, just know that fat is gonna start curling up and you ain't gonna be able to cook your meat and let it lay flat like it's supposed to. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a slit right on them edges where that fat is because what it's gonna do is it's gonna help keep your meat from curling up and laying flat. You see, that right there is gonna make it curl up. Same thing with pork chops. Cut the edge of them and you ain't got to worry about your pork chops curling up. That flat, that fat is trying to is shriveling up, so you got to, you got to cut it to keep it from curling. So that's a little trick for y'all. I just wanted to come and show y'all that right there. Just remember, if you ain't tried it, try it next time you fry some pork chops. You may not have the T-bone steaks, but fry it. I mean, try cutting it. Wherever you feel, you might need one slit, maybe two, but cut it in the spots where you feel like it's gonna curl up and you ain't gonna have no curling problems. So now I have my skillet here on the stove and I got my cooking oil. So I'm going to add me some oil to my pan and this right here is gonna help me sear these T-bone steaks. I wanna get a good sear on them. It's gonna be a one pan dish, y'all. And so if you have to use you a pot, you don't have a big stove or like, you know, a big pan like I do, then get you a pot if you have to. But turn your eye up on high and you want to get a good sear on this. Do not sear it so well. Don't sear it so, don't burn your pan is what I'm finna tell you. Don't burn your pan. You want to make sure you have a controlled sear that way you're not burning the bottom of your pan because you're going to need all the drips and the, the, the pieces and stuff that comes off the meat and the flour and everything in this pan because that's going to help with flavor. All right. So I'm going to take my T-bone steak and I'm going to lay it out flat and I might have to do only two of these at a time, but I'm going to lay it out flat and start searing them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some color on both sides. I want some nice brown color, a nice brown color on both sides. And when I do that, I'll come back. Okay, so as you can see, the T-bone steaks is cooking. I'm going to zoom in so y'all can see real good. And the T-bone steaks is cooking, so now I'm about to turn them over. You can see that they have not rolled up, folded, curled, up, nothing. And you see that nice crispy brown color? That's going to help out with the gravy. So that's what I got right there. And that's what you want them to look like. Those are perfect T-bone steaks frying flat and not curling up on you. So we're going to brown the other side. Before I get started again, I'm going to let y'all know that the um, fan on my stove is going to turn on. When it turns on, I can't turn it off. So I'm going to need for you to just overlook the sound of the fan. So now I have browned my T-bone steaks and this is what I have, them sitting over here. And this is the bits in the pan, don't burn your pan. Okay, so now we're about to move on to the next step. All right, so here I'm gonna add me some onion. I'm gonna add half my onion. And start pan searing that and 
scraping the bottom of the pan, getting all the bits up and everything, because that's going to help with the gravy. So if I haven't said it already, the way we're going to be making this T-bone steak is just like you make pot roast. We're going to be using a pot, making a pot roast T-bone steak. I know the T-bone saying a pot roast, but you know in pot roast you got your potatoes, your carrots, your, your onions, bell peppers, and all that good stuff up in there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do it just like that. And if you have some beef, you could do this the same way if you don't eat beef and you want to do it with chicken. By all means, do it with what you want to do it with. It's still, as y'all know what I like to say, as long as it tastes good, that's all that matters. All right, so now I'm about to go in with my, um, my steaks. We're going to add the steaks back. Right in the just like that. And see that brown that we from browning them, we're gonna get um we're going to get a, a a nice pretty gravy, adding the juices right back in. Then I'm going to go in with some garlic, and you can add as much garlic as you would like to add. So I'm going to go in with my garlic, and I'm not going to add too much. My bowl that I seasoned my steaks in, I saved that bowl and I added me some water to it and rinsed all the seasonings and the flour and everything down. So now I'm going to add that water right here in the pan. Mm -hmm. And you see that flour that went in there? See that's going to be more gravy. Now I'm going to add my potatoes and you add as many potatoes as you would like. It's up to you and whatever your family like. So I'm gonna add these potatoes in here. Okay, so then I'm going to add the carrots. I'm going to add my red bell peppers. My yellow bell peppers.
some more onion on top, the rest of it. I'm going to add some parsley. Okay, so now I'm going to add some celery salt. Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some onion powder. You got to sleep season up your gravy that you're gonna have. Your meat ain't just gonna ain't gonna do it by itself, especially if you didn't over season. Then you wanna add you some black pepper. The potatoes gonna take all that seasoning. Uh -oh. Then we're going to add some garlic powder. Then we're going to add some thyme. You can add fresh thyme if you want. Now I'm going to add my beef stew seasoning. The packet. I got to taste that. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna add both of those. And we're gonna let this cook for about an hour. You know that I'm cooking this to my T-bone. It's nice and tender okay so then i'm going to add some butter y'all know butter is a tenderizer so it's going to tender up my t-bone steak so i'm adding that butter to it for that reason all these ingredients that i added is up to you I'm just showing you what I'm using. You take what I use and keep on going. Okay? So now I'm going to mix all this here in. Mm. Put my lid on there and let it go for it enough. So I'll see y'all back in an hour. But you wanna, everything is gonna cook. You just wanna let this here cook long enough to tender up the T bone steaks and the carrots and the potatoes. That's all you're trying to get done. All right. Once again, just in case I slip up and said it wrong, slipped up and said it wrong, I am cooking this just like a hot roast, not beef stew if I said beef stew. Alrighty y'all, so I had problems with my pan boiling over, should have known that I'm always trying to use stuff smaller. I don't know why. But anyway, so I tasted the broth as it was boiling or whatever, and I want more flavor. So I'm going to be adding two beef bouillon cubes to this right here to give it more of that rich, beefy flavor. So, this what I got right here, y'all. Had to, had to step it up, child, because, child, but look at the, but look at the, look at the gravy on it, though. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna let that cook. This the beef bouillon cubes that I was using, that I am using. As you can see, it's been one hour later, and this is what I got. I'm about to dump it in the pan so y'all can see it. All right, so we're gonna get all this goodness up out of the pot. Most of my potatoes 
don't cook down on me, y'all, because I should have added them a little later, but it's all right, though. Where the potatoes at? They in there. They is in there. But the steak, when I tell y'all this steak is so tender, it's falling off a bone tender, y'all. But I'm gonna put, I'm gonna separate it when I put it in the pan, cause you know, my husband, he be looking for the potatoes and stuff. You look already it up. Look know. It up. Look it up. Straight up. So I'm separating it in my pan so he can find it, and then that will we'll have the gravy to itself, just in case if I make some rice or something. Ooh, y'all see how tender this is? And so now I'm just gonna dump this here. All right, y'all. Right, so here's the dish and what it looks like and everything. I got my veggies and potatoes on this side, and I got my meat over here on this side. And y'all saw how tender it was. I got that over here on this side. So if y'all try my recipe, like I said, try with whatever you want to try with. And if you try my recipe, then come back and leave me a comment and let me know whew, what you think about it. I told y'all this is tender. Let me know what y'all think about it. Peace, love, and many, many blessings to each and every one of you guys. Until the next video, this your girl, Tiana, gonna be me.